All right guys, this is my entryway and I just, I can't even walk to the front door. It's getting so bad. So we've got a new table that I'm gonna set up. We're gonna kind of restyle it. So the first thing I need to do is just kind of get all of this out of the way. All right, so now that I've cleared it out, here's what I'm left with. So I have this beautiful mirror, which was in my original entryway. I'll link that video down below if you wanna go see it, cause it is gonna look very different. But I love this mirror, it's from Pottery Barn. So I am just crossing my fingers that it's going to work where I need it to work because it's just gonna be too heavy to hang. So it's gotta basically sit on my new entryway table. Then I have this table, which if you guys remember, was in my staircase in the last house. So I did purposely buy this for that area. Fortunately, I don't live there anymore. Um, and now I have this table, but it's not gonna work in the contrast that I want it to work. I don't, I mean, I can, I can definitely put that mirror on top of here, but it's just not gonna flow the way I want it to flow. So I did buy a new, entryway table so it's right here unfortunately i have to assemble it but it's black it has a farmhouse look so i'm thinking a black table the mirror and then we're going to keep this on top and keep it ultra simple and maybe have some like candles or something and over in this tiny little hallway that leads into my craft room which i haven't gotten to yet but that's why i'm trying to just get all of these little things done so that i can move freely into the craft room um is this tree so this is a faux tree i got it from amazon i'll link it down below it's got a little spotlight and this was in either my dining room or in the staircase as well so but obviously it needed to be relocated and i think it actually works really well in this space it was very underwhelming in other areas of the house because the ceilings are so vaulted but right here the ceilings are a little bit lower so i think that this works really well so now i'm gonna put this together
All right, now in the media room, I've got my picture frames. They are white. I could possibly change them to black, but for now, I'm actually just going to use them, put them up, at least get them in the place that I want them, and then I guess I can decide. I think it might be a really nice contrast to the black walls. Um, this piece is just honestly here temporarily. Sorry about the lighting. It's just there's no windows in here. This is just like leftover decor that I had and it's not flowing with the rest of the house, but for now I am going to keep it in this room. Also, I moved the wall mount so i do need to just get some like paint and paint over that so it looks nice in here and then the tv got moved to this spot even though this room isn't going to be like fully finished um because i'm just gonna like take my time with the rest of the details but i need a basket for the blankets and then i'm gonna buy this piece from amazon I'll throw up a picture or I'll link it down below. It has like a little electric fireplace, so it'll be super cute and cozy. And then I think I'm gonna get some LED like strip lights from Timu and just like put them behind the TV and that way it can like illuminate some light over on that end. Um, but yeah, otherwise the furniture set up, we just have some blankets that need to be folded. That's Micah's chair, this is my chair and then just like guest. It is elevated. It is elevated on some furniture risers that I got from Amazon just to kind of give it more of that movie appeal of like the back row being a little bit higher than the front row. So that definitely helps. But I'm going to go ahead and change out my posters. If you're new to my channel, I change them out for every season and holiday. As you can see, I kind of have like my winter ones, like Groundhog Day, which is like February. And then I have Mystic Pizza. Oh my gosh, I've been watching this movie on repeat every night. And then I have Star Wars. It's upside down. And then Return of the Jedi Star Wars. But we're gonna switch these out and do something that feels a little bit more spring. All right, so I actually only put up three of the four posters. Let me know your thoughts. It's just that this wall is shorter because of the um, double French doors. Yes, I can put one there, but I don't... Uh, maybe I will. I would definitely need to kind of like paint that because that's gonna like stick up above it and it's just not gonna look nice. But for now, I just put up these three. I did Return of the Jedi, I did Indiana Jones, and then over here I did Mystic Pizza. And of course we just, we just had to put on Mystic Pizza for this. Um, so yeah, so other than getting that fireplace piece from Amazon, getting some LED strip lights, um, and also getting like a basket for our blankets, and then eventually all of this is going to go. But I do see myself getting like a floor, a floor lamp because um, this room is very dark and that light just doesn't give off very much. Obviously the purpose is to kind of like watch a movie and be in the dark, but Mike and I actually prefer some lighting sometimes. So that's why I kind of moved this in here just to have like some extra additional lights. But it, this really honestly is throwing it off. But again, for now, I'm just like going to keep it here till I can move this piece out. Um, into my garage and just store it in there, but I haven't organized my garage yet. But otherwise, this is the media room. I guess I could have done three posters on that wall. I just thought that it would have looked a little too cluttered. Um, and I think two just makes it look better. I'm also really liking the white frames. It just kind of picks up from the white furniture. So I think for now it's actually super nice so i don't see myself kind of making that change and my entryway turned out better than i even envisioned it it's super simple but it's effective and it really works with the rest of the house i feel like before i because i'm not a professional decorator by any means but i'm learning as i go and i'm i 
being in this house, I'm noticing how everything is flowing more cohesively together. So I knew immediately that I was gonna have this mirror left over. I knew I was gonna have that other table, which is in my craft room, the one that you saw me switch out. And the colors were not even close. Like if they were a perfect match, I might've actually have kept it together like that. But it was just off putting for me to have the two different colors, but still being somewhat similar. So I knew that I wanted to go with something black. I wanted it to kind of look modern and farmhouse-ish. So I got this from Amazon. Super easy to put together and it was the perfect size. Like, I mean, it just fits right before the door stopper. And of course I repurposed my a pottery barn mirror and then my vase which I believe I got from Hobby Lobby and then these stems are from Amazon as well. I love them. They're like a minimalist stem and it's just so pretty. Makes the space so light and airy. The other thing I am adding to this entryway, it hasn't arrived yet. Uh, it just wasn't going to arrive in time for this video but I decided to go with an essential oil diffuser but it's really cool. It kind of looks like a fire pit. I'll throw up a picture if I can. Um, if not, I'll link it. But it's just going to sit there. The cable's going to run there. And then that way, you know, we'll get a nice boost of uh, something that smells good when, when anybody kind of like walks into the house. And then we have this rug. Honestly, I love this rug so much. Now, when you do walk on it, I will tell you guys if you order it, it looks lovely, but you can tell it's cheap. Like it's super thin. Like there's no cushion to this. Like you feel bare floor <laughs> underneath your feet. And we are definitely getting closer to completing the house. I'm actually, I was surprised that I thought I was gonna do my bedroom kind of first before anything else, but I'm gonna take my time with my bedroom. So that one probably won't even be available. Who knows? Sometimes I get like a wild hair and things just start to piece together in my mind super quickly. But right now, like my mind is blank when it comes to that room a little bit. I haven't quite, like I know the layout, but I don't know the colors or the, yeah, any of those like fine little details. So I'm just gonna take my time, I'm just gonna table it. I also need to do the back patio, which hopefully we'll do soon as well. Um, my office reveal is coming and she's gonna be my favorite room in the entire house. So I can't wait for you guys to see it. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching another Decorate With Me and I'll see you next time, bye.